Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the greatest coaches in Auburn history played at Georgia. One of the greatest coaches in Georgia history played at Auburn. These two have been intertwined for years. The Tigers and the Bulldogs do battle in the Deep South oldest rivalry. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he'll return it from the one he's tackled at the 31 George's coaching staff the fans I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play and here he is he's a star quarterback he seems to bring everything to the table the crowd I think senses he's ready to have a big day and when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start some big things can happen to this offense Davis off the fake fires quickly to the tight end and he finally steps out at the 40. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. From the 40-yard line, first down. Quickly incomplete. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Cody's got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Tight end right. Four down, four down. My five, my five. Right down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Jones is back deep to return the punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Quickly. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it third and one. I'm coming after you. Right 55. Right 55. Right 55. Right 
nice run there. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 44. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. it out in a hurry. Matthew was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Hester back to return it. He makes it to the 25 yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They're about four yards away here on second down. down for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. the 37-yard line. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. Five, 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 From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. another carry. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From the 48-yard line, first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. five-yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive tackle at the 20-yard line
from the 20 yard line. First down. We played one quarter. Still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. yard line second down throws complete and he's hit right away it's the 11th play of the drive Here's a quick throw. Rose complete touchdown. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 77 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Justin has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Gibson takes it from the six. Tackle at the 31 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here's the give. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Middle to the running back. He's taken down at the 35. He's under some heat. And down he goes. Right around the 40. Makes it out to maybe the 40 yard line. it to the 38-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Keenan picks up about a yard with that completion. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's immediately tackled. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Come on, come on, come on. Easy, easy, easy. Check it out, check it out. the gut. 
gains his way to the 20-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Auburn's going to take their first time out of the half. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. A touchdown away from a tie. Three down, three down. Watch the mic, watch the mic, watch the mic. Set, watch set, set, watch the mic. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Tigers. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's take a look at scores around the country. The Owls, they draw first blood through the air going up top for six. And for Joseph, he's fired a touchdown strike. Rice leads it 7-0 early in the first quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. White has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Brown from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 36. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at midfield. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Got him first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. down 10 to go ball on the 30 yard line he gets rid of this one Brad I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it hit before he can go anywhere. The Bulldogs use their second timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 72 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 14-7. 
He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Three down, three down. And they push him out at the 41. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 49-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. In, 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 those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He sails it long. Caught the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. If Brandon Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Caught at the eight. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 34. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Strike complete, he's down. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Roger, Roger. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 D. Easy, 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 easy. Makes it out to about the 49. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. Easy, 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 easy. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check three. Check Makes it to the 41. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Two men Let's go, baby. Hey, check right. Check right. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, 
tackled for a loss. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sideline, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 43. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Sack on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. Lloyd is the punter. He drops it. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Georgia up seven points. Throws it deep. Makes the catch, and he might take it. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Georgia. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Owls unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. The Owls lead 21-7. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese 21-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gibson from the four. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Georgia's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, we've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Runs right for a nice game. There he goes. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Taken down around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and two. Three down, three down. Where's 52? Watch 52. Run it up. Run it up. We go. He's in trouble. Moves up in the pocket and he throws right away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle at the 42-yard line. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Didn't get all of that one. 
Georgia's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And they make the stop around the 19-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 19. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. That makes it third and seven. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 37. Second and inches. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And here's another third down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 48 yard line, first down. Gets rid of this one. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's taken down at the 45. Third down. This is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Bulldogs lead it by two touchdowns. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job, and they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. Jones is back deep to return the punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Hey, And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. their own 32 yard line second down five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun 
fires that quickly incomplete. Steps up. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. That makes it fourth and twelve. Hester back to return it. He gets out to about the thirty-eight yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he hits him hard at the 35. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Mike five, Mike five. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. three yard line he is such a reliable target you throw it anywhere near him and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch first and ten ball on the 43 yard line just over two minutes in the game it's the tailback he's got an opening gets out to around the 32 Inside the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The ground attack has iced this game with that touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 62-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Down. Throws it to the outside. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 29. He heaves it deep. Can't haul it in. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He flings it. 
They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. Lloyd is waiting for the snap. Hester fields at the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Georgia's staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Brought down around the 32-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Cody gains around six yards on the run. Field for a loss. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Bulldogs get the win. 28-7. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Georgia comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.